How would you make short stack nations? I'm sure you boys have a lot of fucking opinions on this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, you know, how do you make the perfect utopia? <laughs> top comment jerk off before posting yes 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 do that like realistically i'm going to exclude dwarves here because despite the fact that their women are thick fertility goddesses dwari are generally portrayed as stronger and more hardy than humans and thus can match their peers martially for everyone else like gobos gnomes halflings etc they basically have two choices a Make their territory so unimaginably nightmarish to take and hold that other nations don't want to be bothered wasting resources on it. Or B. Make their territory so relatively worthless that nobody would really even want to conquer it. And then deal with the inevitable dysphoria filtering through the other kingdoms. I mean, the only comment I want to make is um, the way this guy's portrayed it. It reminds me an awful lot like a company that's in the news an awful lot at the moment. But uh, I don't think we're going to talk about that country. No. That's in the news a lot at the minute. Right now. Right now. Recording date 17th of August 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys. I think that applies, though. Yeah. There's a, there's a parallel to a, to a certain extent. But they don't have short stacks. Oh, God. What have we done? <laughs> what have we done? Like, fuck this. Next post. Let's keep going. Well, how would their building designs be different besides the obvious? Goblins put put slides in their houses because they enjoy them. Halflings slash hobbits only build one-story houses because they can't be asked to go up the stairs. (laughs) Gnomes only build ladders and not stairs because why waste floor space on staircase? I mean, that makes perfectly good sense. Perfect sense. I I, I completely completely buy into this narrative. I love the idea of goblins just going down slides. It's like... You know, whenever you see like uh, a swimming pool, yeah, like a leisure well, center, yeah, like a, with yeah. all the slides coming yeah. like, outside and stuff like that's just a goblin's house. <laughs> I, do, I do like, you know what, you know what I'm thinking is right. So maybe make like a Fallout sort of you mm-hmm. know post-apocalyptic setting that has goblins. Of course, that sounds like a goblin lair. Like a big fil- slides. Yeah, like a old, an old abandoned water park. And they torture you by putting you on the metal slide that's been in the sun for like ever. So whenever you go down, you get burnt. I mean, that sounds like a passage of ritual, maybe. <laughs> yes. What type? What type of rituals would these like post-apocalyptic goblins? That's why all short sacks have fat asses because they go down the metal slide and it swells. This makes too much sense. Let's keep moving. I mean, this, is, <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is too much. By breeding all the short stacks personally, of course. Even the boys. Did I stutter enough? <laughs> they gotta learn too. <laughs> Again, this this reminds me an awful lot like a place that's in the news. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop talking about that company that's Time in the news. Time of recording, 17th of August 2021. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, their only difficulty is that most races are taller than them, and the disadvantage that gives in a fight. Long spears, ranged weapons, and magic can help balance that out. After that, it's just figuring out what sort of nations you want. For me... One variety of goblins have an Ireland-like island, where they benefit from a central place in a long sea trade route. Are they calling us short stacks? <laughs> Jim? I feel like this is pointless. <laughs> I mean, I, I consider myself more of a half thing than anything. You're fucking gnome, James. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a gnome. That's, that's, that's insulting. That's, that's, that's mean, alright? And cater to sailors with unique brews. Halflings live in a scrubby region... Where they can use hills and cliffs to build fortifications. Whole region is considered real safe because of it, and they live easy lives when not on watch. Gnomes are in a dis gnomes are in a distant Indian knock. Shin bobs. <laughs> what? What would what would a gnome? Why, why would it why would a gnome be messaging? Oh, bombs. you know gnomes. You know where they live. Yeah. Yeah. It just don't, I I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I keep Gnome, going. Gnomes are in a distant Indian knockoff, mostly fighting battles amongst themselves, but using their unique floor to produce some of the best potions and poisons the world oh, knows. Oh, I, I see it. No, actually, yeah, no, that works. And some strange spicy cooking. <laughs> <laughs> But like, so what? Like, are gnomes likely to be sending you messages on Facebook asking you to send bobs? <laughs> and Virginia, <Virginia. laughs> Goblin North of England. The women spend the day working as seamstresses in textile mills. 
The men are down in the coal pits or in the pub. Pretty fucking accurate. Have you ever met people from Have Northern you ever England? met anybody from Northern England? Like, have you ever met anyone from Northern Ireland? They're fucking goblins. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, um, you know, this is one of the ones that actually I want to bring up. Um, over in England, they don't have the term Millie. So Millie refers to like Millie a chavvy, is like a chav. Chavvy, it's not even a chav. chav. It's more like a... Think of someone that lives in like a ghetto or like an estate. Like a girl. And... Um, no, it's not even that. It's just... Pure she's a big scum. Millie. You, you just know a big Millie when you it's see just a big, big Millie. She's a big Millie. She's just pure scum. Yeah. And like, they think they're the dog's bollocks, basically. Yeah. They walk about with... Yeah, they wear like chavvy makeup. Yeah. But... Oh, it's so... And they would fight anything that moves. Millies, I feel like, are a unique... It's kind of like, you know... So, in England, you got, you like know, Like, Millie scum. is a lovely name for a girl. Yeah. Millie is a lovely name for a girl, but... Over here. Over here. Don't yeah. you fucking dare. <laughs> but, like, you know, if you get me, it's kind of like... So, Americans have got, you know, you've got your white trash, and they're very, very different from English scum. Yeah. It's a completely different breed, but they're very similar. And in Northern Ireland, we've got... Excuse me. It's a door. Uh, when did it just blow uh, the door? We've got, what would you describe? We've got snacks for fellas, and yeah. then we've got mellies for girls. And steaks. St- steaks and snacks are very similar, though they, yeah. they overlap on so many different issues. Yeah. But this they're all what, fucking goblins, <laughs> yeah, nonetheless. All, yeah. Um, what, what's the what's the different terms? Like, what's, what's, what's your name for your local variety of scum? Is that for lack of a better it's word? Not even sc- I don't know how to describe it. You know what I'm on? Do you guys get what we're talking about? Like chavs? Do Americans have chavs? No, they wouldn't have chavs. No. Or anything close to chavs? <laughs> no, I don't think they have the same. Oh, oh I know what you have. What? <laughs> that we don't. What? Oh, what's the name of them? Juggalos? Juggalos, yeah. Well, Juggalos, again, is, a, is like a branch off of White Trash, I think. Yeah. We don't really have Juggalos. We also don't have that many serial killers, guys, yeah. but you do. <laughs> like, okay, like, let us know down below. I want to hear about this. What's your local cuisine? Chavs. Yeah, cuisine your, of your, people. Cuis- cuisine of human beings. Cuisine of goblins. <laughs> Quis- yeah, cuisine of goblins. That's the best way to describe it. Yeah, yeah. Psst. Hey, leaning closer. This is fucking ASMR channel now. You know what's pretty fucking based? Titties. <laughs> Go see titties. <laughs> Lots of titties. All the titties. <laughs> Go over to the website, check out all the models. You guys know the score. We have some really nice looking models over there. And we have a lot of... It's sci-fi gothic? Yeah. Let's call them sci-fi gothic. And if models isn't your shit, we have loads of subclasses and we keep adding them every other week or so. We, we, we Look, add we, a lot. We've we, we got a lot. Do you, do you Look, guys- we've got big brains. We add shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, go over to the website, check out everything. If you haven't subscribed... What the fuck you doing? Hit subscribe, hit the notification bell as well, and let's get back to the video. Gobble pirates? Yes or no? Beast. Bring up the beast department now. Well, that, well Gobby is just a like, fucking... Like, so my main character that I play, Gobby, see little Gobby, he is... A swashbuckler. Rogue. Rogue. Goblin. Okay, so he's not like... He's not like an actual pirate, but... Okay, he's a sanction. You know what? He's a fucking pirate. <laughs> he's a fucking goblin. It's kind of like, you know, when you say, oh, no, he's a privateer. He's not a pirate. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, whatever you're into. Um, yeah, so I play him in my Spelljammer game. He's a lot of fun. Honestly, he's the most fun I've had as a character oh, in a, a very good long time. Yeah. He's just... He's a little shit. He's a wee shit scene, and that's all you can really expect. I'll fill up the artwork I got commissioned of him a while back. And he matches James perfectly. <laughs> No, I, he looks kind of... I'm not that No, looking. no, not looking. Like, just his play... Oh, just my play him, style. Just, yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, play style. I really enjoy him. I think he's a really fun character. So, Gobo Pirates, yes or no? Small dare de- daredevils? Daredevils? Decent climbers. Decent swimmers. Relatively hearty. High energy. Yeah, meth energy in my life. <laughs> meth energy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat much compared to humans. They would be good for rope works and various maintenance slash repair activities. Not worth much in combat if we're talking antique piracy. But on equal footing in the gunpowder era because bullets are great equalizers. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Even at slight advantage due to being smaller target. The problem will be morale and the fact that you can't build nation on piracy alone. Well. And plus, it's hard to fucking round up goblins. Goblins, I feel See, like... See, working together. It's like orcs working together. Yeah. They always fight. They always get into arguments. 
I feel like, okay, I'll go through them for me. So, Daredevils, uh, it depends. Like, you know, they will do stupid shit if you can convince them. Climbers, yeah. Swimmers, yeah. Relatively hardy. Yeah, I, I believe, like, you know, they can take a good bat run and yeah. somehow survive. Somehow. Somehow. Um, high energy, definitely. If you're not playing a goblin, the tile meth at all times. Why <laughs> yeah. bother? Don't eat much. I like to imagine Gobby lives off a lot of day that he catches. <laughs> yeah, just one rat again. <laughs> one rat or day. cockroaches that he yeah. stands on and goes. I like to imagine he eats like maggots or some shit. Like, yeah. you know, like the most horrible things. He's you can got imagine. a pocket full. You know, um, those dried mealworms. He's just got a pocket full of mealworms. Yeah. Instead of old people having like hard candy in their pockets, he's just yeah. got mealworms. He just rocks up. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> 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 yeah, I like to imagine that. I, I, yeah, no, I like this. And again, again, to lean back in, I kind of like the idea of okay. So if we're going to do this, we're going to have an, a pirate nation on a wee tiny island, but the island still has to be an abandoned ancient. You know what? Actually, can we just make water world? But will, maybe, it, can but we will make... it be a short stack island? This yes. is what we want to yes, know. Will there be, be a short stack barmaids coming yes. out with big biddies and big things of beer? This is going to be the movie Water World. But replace the entire cast with goblins, and I don't care, guys. I like the movie World of World. Fight me. Next post. <laughs> what kind of weaponry and tactics would such a nation need to use to compete against their neighbour nations with larger inhabitants? What about similar nations, like a goblin nation versus a gnome one? Discounting dwarves who can fight at a same slash greater level as taller races. They simply don't have the mass to resist charges, even with great shields. So they'd avoid combat like that whenever possible. Yeah, they would be very heavy, <clears throat> heavy skirmishing. Yeah. I just couldn't imagine goblins holding up any form of uh, Absolutely. Holding a line is just... Absolutely no, it's, not. It's not. Unless, unless we're talking extreme short stacks and they're holding a, they're holding a wall with pure titty energy. Pure titty fucking boints. Boints. <laughs> boints. <laughs> Large formations would be moot for the same reason. Not enough reach or mass to counterattack properly. Almost certainly rely on mounted skirmishing and squad-based combat where individual units can move and reposition quickly. Yeah, extreme skirmishers. Yeah. Absolute dependence on ranged units. Every one of these armies would have great bowmen, crossbowmen, gunners. In fact, goblins might be the second to figure out the gunpowder after dwarves. Or maybe even first. Doubt. No, I, I do think. I find. Do you think? I find goblins. And I find goblins to be extremely crafty and extremely cruel, but I do think of them as relatively intelligent. I, I don't think of them as. Because if they were intelligent with them being so many of them. I think it's a craftiness and they their could wickedness have been that, that, back, that fucks mm, them every time. Well, I feel yeah. like they have their potential, but they are just. And the selfishness yeah, of them they, as well. They've got all these other traits that act against them yeah. at the same time. Explosions and firearms that don't depend on the user's draw strength would be a huge boon. Definitely would try to only fight in terrain that prevents reliable formations. Yeah, I, I can imagine that. They go in, well, even in most fantasy settings, you think of when the where, trees, where do they go? When the trees start giggling. <laughs> no, but I, I, I like to think of goblins. So they would live in mountainous regions, mm-hmm. they would live underground. They don't. I, yeah, I could see this. I could see that. This thread makes me critically examine something I was absently working on in the campaign that I'm writing. It makes less sense now. I like goblins and want them to be more than low-level trash. I want them to create a wildly unpredictable and largely irrelevant society in the frontier of the world. They would have kingdoms, trade, research, spirituality, but it would all be highly ephemeral. Civil wars break kingdoms apart regularly, only to reform in the rubble just as quickly. Trade is often directly related to banditry. The research is mostly only interesting to goblins, and spirituality is a deep dive into the best and worst of otherworldly sources of power. I want these goblin lands to be mostly devoid of any decent natural resources, but it's like a big garbage dump where the trash of older and newer empires become reformed into treasure that only a gob could love, or maybe understand. The thing is, I like this. But it's reaching into Kender territory where the energy and seemingly endless population of these small creatures, sort of, shrugs off the consequences of their actions. Like, goblins exist as a party of humans minus the tragedy. Can someone put a pin into why this setting is a bad idea? Because I can't quite get it. 
I love it. Honestly, I think it sounds I, great. I, I, you know, I really like that idea where he says, "Go, it's a parody of humans, except minus, minus the tragedy, tragedy, which is the perfect way, I feel like, to describe goblins, because yeah. no one gives a fuck about goblins, and yeah. that's why they make the best And I'm pretty sure goblins. goblins don't give a fuck about themselves. No, they, I, they, they self-preservation, like, as I say, they just get themselves into fucking situations yeah. on a daily basis. Yeah. And I do feel like civil war after civil war, and it's just a constant yeah. fuckery. But the problem is, they just leap with just that quickly. That mm, they're I, like rats. Yeah, I, I, that's the way I view goblins. I believe they should be like rats. They should be, honestly, um, if you don't wipe them out, you'll have millions, millions of, them of them within a very like if short... you have one goblin in your basement, there's probably about six of them behind them. Yeah, you, mm-hmm. you can find them very easily. I like this. I would love to see more of it, and I am a bit of a sucker for goblins, and not just the short stack ones. I mean, the actual like <laughs> enemies. I do. But think, short stacks no, too. But, yeah, well, short stacks. We like good. Teddies are great, and all guys. <laughs> no, I can't argue with that. But I do love goblins as a species, and I do think they're just so much fun. And yeah, you can just do so much yeah, with them. Yeah, I think you, you can do a lot with goblins. And uh, I think I'm definitely going to use that. The parody of humans minus the tragedy. I feel like. If you wanted to explore ideas yeah. that people wouldn't be comfortable with a yeah. lot of the time, do it with goblins. I mean, look, Goblin Slayer was a thing. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not going to talk about what happened in Goblin Slayer because I haven't actually personally watched the anime, but I do know what happens in it. And uh, I feel like, you know, they put that in and, you know, you don't really... It's, it's yeah. nullified almost. But, but then again, maybe if it was the other way about, would it be... Like, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I think it's an interesting thought process. Personally, I admit there's a major temptation to make my short stack races all female and at least partially reliant on breeding with males of the other races, simply because I'm already partially into my magical realm, so I might as well go all the way. But as for the specific idea of short stack female warriors, I've got no problem with it. Heck, blood worshipping red capped dwarf fed Amazons is a concept I've toured with, mo- toyed toy, with, toy, oh, toyed <laughs> with more than once. I mean, who doesn't want <laughs> a I mean, strong ass short stack? I mean, like, look, I am, I am a sucker for the um, Amazonian stereotype. I, I think they're really cool in real life, just yeah. as much as they are in fantasy settings. Yeah. Okay, and before I'm going to get into it, okay, I'm going to like you know, Scythians and all that stuff. Amazonians, not like. Amazonians from the Amazonian lean force. Oh, you know, yeah. I'm talking. Yeah. Like, I know it's it's weird. It's weird before anyone's like, mm, actually, <laughs> you guys know how it is with YouTube. I'm sorry about that. But uh, no, I do like this. And I think, okay, what would we do? I think I'm going to be a sucker for it. And I think I'm going to make my goblin race. I'm either going to go for the post apocalyptic slide of death, like an abandoned water park. Yeah. Or I'm going to go for genuine a parody of pygmy people. Like little small yeah. goblins that live on islands and they're like very tribal. Yeah. And maybe throwing a bit of cannibalism from time to time. No, I just want the pirate time with big barmaid milkers serving me beer. <laughs> eh, yeah. I mean, like, like, they're all great options. It's all g- Look, Look I feel there's like, no wrong options when it comes you, to short stuff. <laughs> you know, I feel like if we if you were going to do this, I feel like, honestly, I'm really tempted to just make a, an old goblin party. Like an all go- not even an all goblin party, an all goblin setting, uh-huh. and just build the entire world around goblins, and you can throw in because they are so versatile as a species. You yeah. can just throw any anything, I- yeah. any idea. Do you want to make some like more technologically advanced? You can. Do you want to make them actual? Like you know, they're still using like bones for spears. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, the only thing that's constant on it is a level of civil war. But then again, it wouldn't be civil war because it's all different nations of all yeah. goblins. I like this, but like as I said, this is where we're going to end. Where, what where about you? your ideas? Where what what set? What, what would what? your short stack nation be? Okay, you know what? Let's get a comment and a question that'll actually get people answering. Tell us about your short stack wife. Yes, tell us. About- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just tell we us all about- know you got one. <laughs> yeah, just tell us about your short stack wife. You know that's that's probably the best way to go about it. Um, but as always, check out the links down below to the website. Check out the models because they're beast. Check out the subclasses because they're, they're beast. beast. Uh, check out the new adventure, Steel Water, because it's also guys. You- do you know what it is? It's fucking beast. beast. <laughs> um, but hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And yeah, that's it. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye.